The NARDA SRM-3006 is a selective radiation meter used for making environmental electromagnetic and safety analysis measurements from 9 kHz to 6 GHz, depending on the antenna used. Also, there are options available for scope, UMTS, and LTE measurement modes. When you first receive your SRM-3006, you have to start by connecting the SRM-3006 unit, the 3 meter extension cable, and the antenna together. Now when connecting the 12 pin male and female connectors together, you have to be very careful to align the two red dots, so it slides in, like so. When disconnecting the 12 pin male and female connector, you must be very careful to pull on the finger grip on the end of the male connector, like so, and then gently disconnect. Line the red dot up to the front of the 12 pin connector. I have previously installed the NARDA SRM3006 transfer software on my PC, and it's time to launch it. Now that we have launched the transfer software, it's time to turn the SRM3006 on by pressing the green power button. You will see the NARDA logo displayed along with your bootloader version. The next screen is a self-test screen. Verify everything passes. Now it's time to connect the SRM3006 to the PC with a USB cable. With the SRM3006 transfer software, you can configure your different antenna sets, cable sets, standards, service tables, setup, and measurement routines. And right now, I'm going to add two antenna sets to my configuration file by clicking and dragging and dropping from the library window to the configuration window, like so. And now I'm going to add another standard from my library to my configuration window. Now that I have configured my desired settings, I'm going to transfer from the PC to the SRM unit by clicking the red transfer configuration from PC to SRM. It gives you a warning popping up. Configuration on device will be overridden. Would you like to continue? Yes. Now that we have transferred the configuration files from the PC to the SRM, we are going to transfer the configuration files back to the PC to confirm that they are correct. We do that by clicking the blue transfer configuration from SRM to PC button. A window pops up saying configuration not saved yet. Do you want to save it now? I'm going to select no. Now that we have our configuration files displayed back in the configuration window, you can see everything matches as we sent them out. NARDA SRM3006 transfer software also gives you the capabilities of making remote operations. You do this by clicking the live window and it brings up your NARDA SRM display. Then you click the play button to connect. You see that the display on the screen is the same display as the SRM unit itself. This allows you to control everything on the SRM through the PC. Now, to stop the remote operations, all you have to do is click on the stop button at the top of the display. If you'd like to save your information on the SRM, all you have to do to save a data set is press the save button located below the red escape button. 
automatically saves. If you would like to save a screenshot, you have to press display and the save screenshot soft key appears and press that. Save the screenshot. Now with the SRM3006, there are three main modes of operation. Safety evaluation mode, level recorder mode, and spectrum analyzer mode. Now I'm going to go through the process of using the safety evaluation mode. When you turn the SRM unit on initially, it's in spectrum analyzer mode. To switch to safety evaluation, press the menu button, then the safety eval soft key located to the right of the screen. So you can change your display type by pressing display on the bottom of the screen. And you have your tables or your bar graph. You can also change your different views of the display by pressing the display soft key on the bottom, then the view soft key on the bottom. Now that we have configured our safety evaluation settings for our measurement, it's time to start testing. Now I'm going to measure a signal at 500 megahertz. As I'm measuring this 500 megahertz signal, you can see my index 7 between 470 and 790 megahertz increases. The second mode of operation is spectrum analysis mode where all of the field components in the selected range can be recorded to give an overview of the detected spectrum or to determine the maximum values. The extended functions of the device enable you to perform optimum evaluation of the measured values directly on site. Marker functions and a peak table are provided for rapid assessment of the results. Spectrum analysis is the default screen after powering on the SRM3006. The first thing we need to do to measure a 500 megahertz CW signal is adjust our frequency settings. You can do this by either setting your minimum frequency and your maximum frequency or setting your center frequency and then your frequency span. I set my span to 10 megahertz and my center frequency to 500 megahertz and then I need to adjust my resolution bandwidth to best view the signal going to 100 kilohertz. Now it's time to measure the signal. There you go on the spectrum analyzer. You see my signal reaching its peak. There are two ways to evaluate your measurement data. A peak table, which generates a table containing 50 measured peak values. The integration, which we see here, which integrates the measured values over a defined frequency range. To change your evaluation settings, you press the evaluation soft key on the bottom of the display screen, and then you see peak table or integration show up on the right side of the screen. Currently, we are in integration, so I'm going to switch to peak table. Now this gives us 50 measured values The third mode of operation with the SRM3006 is a level recorder mode. This allows you to make selective measurements at a defined frequency. You can set the resolution bandwidth according to the channel width and averaging over selectable time periods such as 6 minutes as possible. Max and hold functions make it easier to evaluate the results on site. The results are displayed numerically and as bar graphs. One advantage of the level recorder mode is that there are no time gaps in the recording of the results if a single axis antenna is used or only one axis is measured using a three axis antenna. This operating mode is also useful for measuring pulses. To use the level recorder mode, we start by pressing the menu button from the default screen after powering on. Then you see the level recorder soft key shows up on the right side of the screen. To measure our 500 megahertz signal, we need to set our center frequency to 500 megahertz. You can also adjust 
your resolution bandwidth, your measurement range, depending on what power levels you plan on measuring, your result type, either peak, RMS, or peak and RMS. Now it's time to measure our signal. There is our current 500 megahertz signal at a power level of approximately 6 volts per meter. Now the last function of the NARDA SRM3006 is spatial averaging. This can be used in all three modes, safety evaluation, spectrum analysis, and level recorder. This function simplifies the measurement by automatically averaging the individual values measured at different points in the room. The SRM3006 then determines the RMS value. There are three types of spatial averaging functions. Continuous, which measured values are recorded continuously. Discrete, when one measured value is recorded each time a key is pressed. Discrete axis, when one single axis measured value is recorded each time a key is pressed. To use the spatial averaging function, you need to have your desired measurement mode selected, either level recorder, safety analysis, or spectrum analysis. We are going to use spectrum analysis. You start by pressing the result type soft key on the right side of the screen. You'll see your menu selection change. You'll see on the bottom there's a spatial averaging type soft key. We are going to use continuous. Then you press the spatial averaging soft key on the right side of the screen. In order to begin your measurements, you press the start soft key. I'm going to do this now. You will see your display screen change to green. You see these measurements on the spectrum analysis, 500 megahertz. When you pause your measurements, you will see your number of runs continue, yet your number of spatial averages will stop. To continue measurements, press the continue soft key. To save your measurement data, you press the save button located below the red escape button. You will see saving data set on the display. To delete your data, press the clear soft button on the right side of the screen. To exit spatial averaging, all you have to do is press the red escape key. For more information on the NARDA SRM3006, please call us or visit our website.